have that vacuum cleaner grab coming out from Luigi, that could be really, really suffocating to deal with. All right, here we go. Game one, G-Pick going to Pokemon Stadium 2. All right, so... Oh, we have two boys here. Great stuff. So it looks like the targets have been picked. Yeah, legit going immediately for uh, Sergio's Roy. And we have Vaughn trying to just lock down Mikey's Mega Man. Uh, especially because Mega Man has those pellets, I can see it being way harder for Luigi to find a grab on him. Yeah, but no, you're getting <laughs> switches back and forth already. The Roy is not on each other anymore. And, okay, Leaf Shield gonna go ahead and do some good damage. For the red team, what they were doing a little bit earlier yesterday was that Mikey would be the stock tank, as always. You know, we've mm -hmm. already seen that back in Smash 4. Really wants to be that heavy body, able to hold on to those stocks and making sure his teammate can be the aggressor. And it's been working quite well for them. Yeah, and it's one of his strengths as a player wasn't just being a stock tank, but also being a fantastic support, right? When he has the, the pellets and the metal blade, he's able to lend disruption from the other side of the screen and just help his teammate pull off 2v1 situations really well. Yeah, and no, and even offstage, there was a couple situations when his teammate was offstage, he would just actually use the up air to give him a little bit of height to get back to that stage. Yeah. And it makes sense that he's being able to team up with Sergio. So, like, aside from the, the same bloodline jokes we've been making, like, Sergio looks to have that same aggressive style that Luis does in terms of movement. So you want that covering fire to help you really open up your opponents. Oh, yeah, exactly. And Sergio is a fine player in his own right. We don't really talk about him too much. You know, Luis takes a lot of that spotlight, but Sergio... You know, he played Cloud back in the last iteration in doubles. He enjoys doubles quite a bit, and he's really showing why. You know, he's a force to be reckoned with as well. I like his awareness already, because he noticed whenever a crash bomb is being put onto Vaughn, he immediately runs at Vaughn to try to capitalize on that additional pressure, because you know that they're going to be forced to block or dodge in response to the crash bomb going off. He's going to get caught rolling in. Again, another force match online for the green team, and green team actually taking a stock lead. Yeah, this is looking slightly in their favor, but we have to remember how bloody Luigi is right now, and especially with Oroi and the killing power that uh, Mega Man also is packing in the right situation. He has to be very careful, and we're seeing him pull back a lot, looking for retreating grabs near the ledge, while Vaughn just tries to keep any additional pressure off of his teammate. Oh, but Mikey has an edge guard situation, gets one back air, the second back air taking that stock. Yeah, and now we have Vaughn also at really high percent. So Green Team is actually kind of bleeding away their lead right now. Unless, you know, they can find one of their big openings that help them land in this top eight to begin with, they might uh, they might be taking an early exit in this game. All right, Luigi keeping up the pressure with the Luigi right now. But look at that knee shield, such a great option. Able to go ahead and put a hitbox while you're sitting in shield. Mm -hmm. Vaughn doing a great job holding off both members of Red Team at the ledge. Not going to be able to convert that into a kill, but at the very least, they got death percent now on both members, and that's huge because once they take off both of these stocks and can start the 2v1 first, they're in a fantastic position to take the rest of it. Uh, Mikey everything. again taking yet another stock, finds himself right back off stage off of that F tilt. Yep. Green team ends up just splitting the red team instead, and I'm surprised. Mikey just runs straight forward, having such confidence to get past Vaughn. Mm -hmm. Vaughn, I, I think, being caught off guard because he's used to, at this point, having earned the respect yep, of his Like opponents. I said, wow. Mikey having the awareness to drop right down and go save his teammate. The thing that was amazing was that Legit was ready for that, too. He tossed out the back air at the top of the air shooter range in order to try to keep that edge guard going. Oh, what, no punish on the spot dodge? Legit managing to stay alive despite everything, and 160% now on... Uh, Mikey, so he's going to have to play that full support role right now. He can't really afford to put on any direct pressure because now his teammate has to deal with this 2v1. And ping-ponging in this game is even easier than it was in Smash 4. Definitely. Here we have Sergio trying to get right back into this, but the green team having such great understanding of what to do in the 2v1, making sure that your opponent is sandwiched and really limit their options of escape. Yeah, and when you have to deal with the threat of Luigi can grab you from a bunch of distances, and then any button you press, you have suddenly the other Roy in your face being able to hit you with really hard-hitting moves. It's really just paralyzing. What, what option can you do that won't end in your death? All right, great stuff from Vaughn and Legit taking that first game, but Mikey and Sergio weren't doing too bad there. Really, I, I would just like to see a couple of adjustments in terms of Sergio not being in a position to where Mikey has to go down and save him. Yes, it's great awareness from Mikey to go ahead and do that, mm -hmm. but like you said a little bit earlier, G-Pick, legit scoped it out immediately, yeah. and even though he did get the save, he was there at the top, got that back here, and made sure, you know, you're not getting these extra lives. I'm making sure that we're going to take this game, you know, possibly take the set. Yeah.
And uh, the other thing that I noticed was that they were having a bit of trouble in terms of keeping pressure off of Mikey himself. Like, he did manage to hit, like, 160%, but he was constantly getting cornered and harassed by uh, Vons Roy. And that is going to cause... Uh oh Legit getting his combo started. Not going to be able to get the full damage, though. 62% definitely not bad. And they're Sergio still just, just keeping focus really on that. really struggling to get anything going. It's just harassed by this Luigi right now out from legit. Mm -hmm. it's, it's funny because the, the conventional knowledge tells us that like Luigi and the plumbers in general struggle so much with disjoint, but you know once legit finds his way into that sword's range, he's able to deal so much damage that then led to uh, you know Sergio losing his first stock rather quickly. Mikey still sitting at 40%. Hopefully, you know, he's really trying to keep it the stock tank low, as we're already talking about. Unfortunately, yes, your teammate did lose that stock, but if you're able to hold on all three, that's going to be an extra one for him. But you guys need to get this together, get this green team off of here, and Vaughn already bleeding at 86 now. Yeah, but you still need to find a way to properly corner him, because since he's always staying on top of Mikey... Oh, there we go! That's the sort of cornering I was thinking of. Keeping him locked down in a single position for that up tilt to clean up that stock. Because otherwise... Uh, with the way Vaughn's been playing, since he's focusing more on engaging Mikey, he has less opportunities for these early kills, as if, unlike, unlike you know, pressuring Sergio, where they could both kill each other at the same percent. Yeah, for the great team, it's looking like their strategy is just make sure that Vaughn just occupies Mikey. Mm -hmm. And really, he they want the Luigi on this Roy. Get the big combos, get the gimp, get that stock away very easily, because they know Mikey's going to be able to hold into that stock. Oh, yeah. But they want to just get rid of Sergio's to force the share stock. Yeah, at the end of the day, even having to deal with like five stocks of a Roy, if you can tread through those stocks like 30 seconds apiece, that's not that bad, bad of a deal. Still, though, a lot of scrambling happening once they both get caught up, and Sergio actually capitalizing, taking almost both the stocks, setting up... Uh-oh. Back air hitting his teammate, but it's okay. Vaughn makes it back on stage, and we do we have the... No! With the rush almost coming in to save him. Uh, Mikey noticing that he was too low to use the air shooter to save his teammate. Yeah, no, and here we have Vaughn losing his stock as well. Green team having one stock advantage using all of the leaf shield. So much damage right there. Because you get to just exist with those blades going off, and they, they start up a lot sooner than they used to. So it works a lot better when you're under pressure. So one thing I do notice from the Wii Show is that it actually spins and rotates a lot faster. Mikey has been opting to not go for the grab. Maybe he can't grab out of it anymore, because, you know, from all Mega Mans that I've seen so far, they have not opted to grab and get that extra pummel damage. Yeah, yeah, it certainly appears so. There's a back throw. Not going to lead into that up smash. A little miscommunication from the green team, but that up the out of shield is going to put on plenty of damage. Now it's just Mikey's turn with the 2v1, and he's actually done really well in 2v1s in the past. Like, we've seen him take out uh, Trevante, and I believe it was Exax in a 2v1 before, so you can't count him out yet. And I like the way he's managing his pressure right there, making it look like he was wanting to approach Vaughn at the last second, swerving and poking through Legit Shield. He's just trying to keep that same pressure and managing to keep Legit off the stage, taking that first stock, but this is a little bit harder. He has to find a way to somehow take Vaughn's stock before getting picked off in the edge guard, and it doesn't pay out. That back air just in his face before he can get anything started. Yeah, it's quite difficult to go ahead and try to make these 2v1 comebacks, especially when you have one member of the opposite team just trying to harass you all stays and the other, just waiting for you to go ahead and come back, expecting an air dodge, expecting a roar, some type of get-up to catch you right there. Yeah, that's, a, that's the thing that's so annoying about that 2v1 situation is because you everybody knows, like, oh, you, you try to kill that damaged party member first, right? And then you can force the 1v1. But the damaged guy is always going to be in the back covering your roll escapes in his direction. And then otherwise, you have to get rid of the clean guy right in front of you with half of your escape options. Yep, here we are going to game three right now. Vaughn legit up 2-0. And already, they're just still running it right back to town and city. I think they're just still confident in this really large stage, hopefully, hoping that I think that uh, Mikey has a lot more room to run around with and pressure with his projectiles without being caught in the corner by Vaughn like happened earlier. Yeah, but JPEG, we still have basically the same matches as we've been having the first two games. As we started immediately, we had Sergio going against Legit, but finally we have the Roys actually going against one another. Mm -hmm. I like what happened there, though. They managed to get Legit off stage, and both members of Red Team just immediately tried to focus down uh, Vaughn as much as possible. They got a solid 120% on him in the process, and that helped set up that kill. Force Smash going to be online, taking that stock. EG getting that down throw. Wow, a footstool! I don't think he was ready to go ahead and catch it, but nonetheless, they're at the bottom. Another forward smash online. 
not going to be able to catch the landing. Both the Roy's just dueling it out right now, which fortunately leaves Legit in a very tough situation in order to get past that zoning wall of Mega Man and then the edge guard. It's going to result in him losing his first stock as well. So Red Team with the slightest lead, but we know how fast stocks explode at that 90-100% threshold in this matchup. Definitely. Luigi, you know, in this iteration of Smash Brothers, his recovery, you know, a tiny bit nerfed, not really having the Cyclone height to go ahead and come back very horizontally or vertically, yeah. depending on how it is. So, you know, it's very easy to go ahead and try to catch him because that green missile is going to be coming out before that up B. Yeah, he has no choice at this, at this point. Uh, especially if he loses. What? <laughs> Legit just making the hard call on when the shield drop was going to happen and paying off so much. Just like that, and putting themselves in a more reasonable position to bring, make this comeback happen. They just need to find one more Luigi combo, like just like this. Yeah, immediately Mikey notices what's happening, knocks Vaughn away, and manages to get in there. Oh, he doesn't have his double jump, but the green missile actually coming in and saving Vaughn, but... Oh my goodness, legit. Because of that, unable to recover himself. Yeah, that is the favorite way to actually gimp Luigi in singles right now. Get in the way of the green missile, and then he's in so much end lag afterwards that he's just unable to make it back to the stage afterwards. Our Vaughn bleeding still sitting at 150. Great awareness from the green team there, just trying to use the extended hitbox off of the shield on the forward smash. Yeah, the f <laughs> I love that Legit was kind of ready for that. It's like, oh, in this situation, my teammate always has smashes, and wow, another up special. He's going to take one more, though, in order to, you know, even up this game. Because, yeah, Vaughn's just out of there. And at 70%, uh, we know Legit doesn't live much longer unless Vaughn can babysit him for the rest of this game. Yeah, but we're at even stocks now. G pick after that up B and the forwarder to go ahead and take Vaughn stock. And Vaughn got a lot of mileage out, out of that second stock, living to about 160. Mm -hmm. Oh, and here we got, actually have Green Team now taking the lead. Vaughn at almost no damage on oh, him and no, the great the up punish. Tilt, so much lag at the tail end of that. Mikey was just banking on the up tilt killing, but it did not. And legit and Vaughn taking complete advantage.